everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm just finishing up here on site on this shed structure. I was able to get all the sheathing boards on here today, up in the corners, the uh, little triangular sections. Got those filled out, and uh, I'm, I've just started working on uh, right here. Uh, the boards that are gonna go, gonna go under these windows, and uh, I, I found out, I, I don't know how I did this, but the rough opening for these windows is, it doesn't say on this, but it's like 23 and 7 eighths inches. For some reason I made it 27 and 7 eighths inches because the windows were inside the house and I had to hold the number in my head while I walked all the way out here and made my notes and somehow 23 and 7 eighths turned into 27 and 7 eighths. So these window holes are about 4 inches too wide. That's not a huge deal. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the bottom and the top boards on like I was going to and then I'm just going to add uh, an inch and a half board on either side. That'll take up 3 of the inches. And, uh, you know, the extra inch will just be like a half inch padding on either side. So, um, my bad, my mistake, but easy to recover from. And it'll, it'll look fine. A little bit of trim around the window. Never hurt anybody. Um, and that's pretty much it. I, I'm really pleased with the way that the, uh, the scrap boards integrated. You can see the scrap boards are uh, these guys. Uh, from here up is all scrap. Um, one of these, yeah, actually that one right up there is the, uh, the one I st stole from the house. But scrap, 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 just sanded them out. They look pretty nice. I think they integrate well with everything. And I'm pleased that I was able to uh, uh, you know, make, it all, make it all work. Because I bought a certain amount of material for the walls, and then I decided to make the thing a little bit taller. And uh, because Home Depot had been giving me hassles, well, actually, they were just refusing to accept returns, I was much less uh, liberal with the order that I put in with them. Normally, I would have you know, maybe bought a couple extra hundred dollars worth of boards, uh, knowing that you know, if I kept them clean, dry, and bundled together, I could bring them back. But you know, they screwed me last time uh, you know, and made a real hassle for me. So now I'm trying to be much more conservative with how much money I give them. Uh, it bites them because you know, if I overspent by like you know, 45 bucks or something like that, I just keep the boards, they keep the money. Good for them. Good. Fine for me, fine to have some extra scrap here and there, but uh, you know, I don't want to be left with a couple hundred extra dollars worth of boards kicking around. So um, it kind of sucks because one of my favorite things about Home Depot was that you could overbuy and then bring stuff back. They advertise that that's their thing, you know, you know, overbuy will always accept it, but that's not true. At least, uh, no, it's not true. <laughs> there's, no way, there's no way to hedge it. It's not true. Uh, you know, they, they'll take stuff back uh, under, you know, for a while, but I, they said that I abuse the system. I don't know what that means. I, I mean, it's not like as though I was returning more than I was buying. I was giving them tens of thousands of dollars and occasionally asking for, you know, a couple hundred back now and then. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, it's bad for them because I, I would have spent a lot more money and, you know, I, I would have done it all in cedar. But it worked out. I was able to do the, the recycle boards and uh, it's all good. But um, it's a shame because, you know, they could have made, uh, you know, several hundred dollars more from me probably because uh, I, I would have ended up using the extra. I would not have returned them. Uh, and, uh, you know, whatever. It is what it is. So, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing, uh, tops and the bottoms on the windows and, uh, you know, just trying to keep this thing moving forward. I have about 10 days before, uh, the person that can install the solar hot water panels is available again after all their brain surgery and everything. And, uh, you know, I'd like to be ready as soon as they're ready to, uh, to pop it up. So there's not that much left to do. I'm going to focus on getting the sides and the roof foamed and then getting the metal roof on. You know, I can, I can kind of worry about these ends later on if I wanted to. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the idea for the moment. So that's it. Thanks for watching.